In this video, we're going to go over the YouTube research section of Key Search. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that it's basically identical to the uh, regular keyword research page in Key Search. So if you're familiar with that, you'll be able to dive in really quickly here. Um, I'm not going to go over all the features that are the same since it's basically all the same stuff. So you can find that in the regular keyword research video in the tutorial section. Um, but I'll basically show you the differences here. What this page does is it gives you the competition of ranking on the first page of YouTube instead of Google. So rather than show you the front page SERP analysis um, for Google, we show you the YouTube front page uh, analysis and we break it down with some things like the age of the video, the amount of views, the likes the video got, dislikes, comments, whether the title and description have keyword matches. So it's very similar to the how you would be doing SEO research, but this is for YouTube. So all the same sort of things apply. You got your difficulty scores that you can flip through. If uh, the difficulty hasn't been checked yet, you can check it like uh, by just clicking the check there. You could do the usual bulk check, save keywords to lists. So the YouTube section's got its own YouTube list. Uh, YouTube diff difficulty, quick difficulty page. So all the same sort of stuff like the regular um, keyword research page, but uh, targeted towards YouTube. Um, for this, you may want to use the YouTube suggest um, search feature sometimes since it's actually using YouTube to get uh, more keywords from your seed keyword. Um, but you have your all your usual search, uh, search types like you would on the regular research page and locations and everything. So, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, especially if you already understand our regular keyword research page. But this is for YouTube. Um, so if you're looking to get your videos ranked on YouTube or find topics that um, may be easy to draw traffic from YouTube, this is a great way to do it. Um, so I definitely suggest checking it out if you're someone who uh, makes their own videos and whatnot. But that's about it, guys. I will see you in the next video.